Hello, welcome back to Kerno EXP. Well, as you can see, this is a bit of a revisit. Now, there is a reason for that, folks. Um, last time I was here, I did a bit of a cock up. <laughs> this box here, which is the camera box, I left it on the bike seat and I didn't lock it up or anything. And I was panicking, it didn't really show on the camera but I was panicking about that because there's a lot of money's in there. Uh, I'm not going to disclose how much money that is, but it would definitely hit the channel quite hard if we lost something like that. So we are back. Now, we're not going to be continuously filming, folks. We're going to do it in stages. So we're heading back up to that ancient fortification that we've seen. Um, last time I couldn't really flow, fly the drone properly because I updated the software on the um, RC and it kicked me off so I had to re-log in so I couldn't really fly it. All I could do was 50 metres up and 50 metres round in a big circle which was a bit of a kick in the you-know-whats. So yeah, <laughs> so today we've got all the kits, we've got the drone, got Scooby Snacks and we got uh, obviously the camera box. So this is a beautiful flat valley here and uh, we're going to be heading towards um, this ancient hill fort. So I'll continue for a moment as we get down to the um, hand crank system which they used for bringing the boats in years ago. Um, but it's a beautiful day I uh, couldn't get out yesterday, folks, because the weather was not playing ball at all. It was completely wet here in Cornwall. And from now on, when we get a weather window like this, we're going to have to just jump on it, folks, because otherwise you guys are going to notice a drop in the videos, the footage that we get. So we are going to do our best to keep smashing them videos out when the weather window is there. Now have a look down here, it's a nice boat isn't it? I wouldn't mind one like that. Hope you enjoyed those uh, boat videos that we did recently folks. Me and David, uh, we are going to be out again with the boat but not 100% sure when that will be. But, <coughs> excuse me, but it won't be too long, you won't have to wait too long. A couple of weeks perhaps and we will be out in that lovely yard there look. Lovely old fisherman's yard. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. All right, let's get her going. So, got an aircraft over there. So yeah, we're, we are in a, there is a flight zone around here, but the, where we're heading to folks is just outside of that. So that should be a lot better. So yeah, so there we are. PZ2620, booty isn't it? That's a booty that is. PZ means Penzance folks, if you didn't know. Right, so there's the uh, wheel in question, it's damaged. That's a shame that's been damaged. Yeah. I hope uh, that gets fixed. Right, let's carry on. So here's these easier boats again. Let's have a little look around here a minute. Just have a close up look at this because it isn't every day you get a chance to see something like this. I reckon that is off a ship and they utilize that for winding. I reckon that's off a shipwreck. I might be wrong folks. I don't know. I got a feeling I might be right on that one. Okay, so I'm going to call it on this little bit now because we've got to get up that path, and that path is steep to say the least. <laughs> All right. There is a bit of wind noise there, but I've got the dead cat on, so I don't think you should be hearing that. So it's all good in the hood. 
Okay. Right, we'll get up to the gate. This screen's gone a minute. All right, there we go. Okay. Right, I'm gonna be uh, panting a bit time we get up here, so. Right, so just let you know, folks, this is a revisit, but today the footage should be a lot bloody better, <laughs> to say the least. Right, so we're by the gate now. I'll meet you up top, folks, when we get up there. See you in a minute. Okay, so we're further up now to where we were last time and uh, we're kind of heading in the same direction and uh, we're gonna base ourselves where we did last time for a minute to get some energy back on and to drink and some jelly babies because they're good for glucose folks if you didn't know that you know uh, jelly babies give you glucose which gives you energy so there's a little tip for you from Kerner EXP if you're an outdoor person and you're going out for a walk take two or three bags of jelly babies a lot cheaper than buying energy gels and energy biscuit bars and what have you all right so that's that old fort in front of us and we're just heading towards our base area where we'll base ourselves for a little while and then we'll continue our walk towards that ancient fort. So I'm hoping we can get the drone up here. Uh, at this moment in time, I'm not really 100% sure, uh, but I'll have to find out in a bit. So. so there will be some drone footage today, folks, whether it's just a short one or an extensive flight, I don't know right now. So we're heading to where we're going to base ourselves right now, just on this bit of nice bit of flat granite right here. Beautiful coast around here, folks. So if you are planning a visit to Cornwall, then why not check out this place? The uh, description of where we are will be in the comments. But we are in West Cornwall and we're not a million miles from Land's End, as you may have guessed. So, see you in a bit, folks. Right, hello, folks. So we're further down now. Uh, we based ourselves just over there a second ago. And uh, we are slowly making our way to the fort, which is uh, just down here, basically. And... Uh, we are um, on the southwest coast path and it's a beautiful location so if you want to visit down here please do so um, unfortunately you won't find any of our stickers down here because uh, I've not put any around but uh, yeah it's a beautiful spot folks and today Saturday it's a beautiful day too so we're gonna continue walking down and uh, we've got a little bit of a walk yet we're going to have a look at the different parts of the location so you don't get a repeat of the last video and as i said earlier the last video didn't really go to plan because i mislaid my camera box which is not terribly good right let's carry on folks see you in a bit when we get on top of the old fort bit out of breath folks uh just climbed up the quite a steep bit there so to the left we've got a rampart and if you watch the last video I did it here you will see that we gave a donation unfortunately I don't have any coins with me today so I can't give a donation today but uh, now <coughs> we're at the entrance to this ancient hill fort this is what this is and uh, We've got some horses over there, which is quite nice to see. Or ponies. Not really sure how far we're going to go now, but we might go down to the gate, to the 
fortified headland. So this is ancient, by the way, folks. This is not uh, anything in the last 500 years. This is a lot older than that. Right. Getting my breath back. <laughs> What a beautiful day. I'm glad I pushed the boat out today, folks, to get this documented, because uh, it is uh, important that we uh, document as much as we can, because we all know the weather. The weather's going to be going down the pan in a few weeks, I'm pretty sure of that. But like I said earlier, we are going to uh, get out as much as we can and uh, of course there when there's a weather window we will get out there and uh, smash the videos out for you guys we've, we've got a few things on the back burner still we've got our Halloween special location uh, me and Mrs. Kerno are going to do um, a paranormal evening, possibly next week, um, at a place that you have seen before, but not not for a while. Uh, the crew have been there, so I'm not going to say where that is right now, but uh, it's a good one. Now, it was reported, you see that rock sticking up there? Um, now, a Navy chap, uh, this is a long time ago, mine, he pushed that stone off and it landed in the ocean. And the Admiralty, I believe, now I might, I might have got this wrong, said that he's got to put it back. And as you can see, he did get it back and apparently it bankrupt him, almost bankrupt him. So, put me right in the comments if you know better than me. Now, I don't know all there is to know about this part of Cornwall, folks, because I'm from the other side, so, you know, I'm, I'm not keyed up like some of you will be. There was a nice chap that put a comment last time explaining about that. I should know that being a Cornishman, but like I said, I'm not from this part of Cornwall, so I'm not keyed up as much as what other people are. So, the tide is in more today than what it was the other day. I hope you can't hear the wind noise. There is some wind noise, folks, but we do have the dead cat on today, so it should, theoretically, be working. Okay, so look at that. Wowzers. So there's a path that goes down there. I think uh, I think at some stage we'll go down there and have a look, but we're not going to do that today. I think what we will do today is go over here and have a more of an in-depth look at the place where we are. So let's uh, let's get down here, shall we? Now, if you're coming here, you'd have to wear shoes that are appropriate because. The path can be slippery, so caution, caution, and caution. That's what we suggest. I've got uh, all terrain carry moors on, folks. That's all good. Uh, we might end up going down that bit in a minute. Yeah, I think we will in a minute. Right, we're going to venture down here. This might be a bit of fun and games, but got to give it a go, eh, folks? Ugh. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm scared. It might be a bit slippery here. Yeah? <laughs> oh, fucking jeez. Right, okay. Yeah. We made it. <laughs> oh. Alright. Now, 
can we get any further with this or no? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, right, I don't think these granite blocks are going to go anywhere. Look at that, folks. Wowzers. Right, I think we better call it for here. Um, so yeah, different perspective from the different side. Now, there's a couple of beaches over there. One of them is renowned to be a nudist beach and the way down to it is very precarious. We've never been down there before, so I'm going to wait until I get a crew member available so we can actually give that a go. That will probably be next year, more than likely. I can't foresee us doing that this year, to be fair. So, right, I think we're going to have to call the video, folks. So I do hope you enjoyed it. We've got a nice bit of footage there. Got a nice bit of drone footage too. So please don't forget to smash the like button. And uh, Kono's going to try and get back up there without falling on his ass. <laughs> Might as well film it, eh, folks? <laughs> they fall over, it's extra content, isn't it? Right, let's go. We ah, that wasn't too bad, was it? I don't think I'll kill, kill the video straight, straight away. I think we'll just do a bit more. All right for battery and all that jazz. <sighs> We'll keep rolling. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Right. Now, what's the best way to get down here? Because last time it wasn't really that good, was it? I think we'll probably try for this, shall we? Or is there a better way down? Is there actually a better way down there? Because it looks like there's a path there which kind of goes down there. Uh, there is a little pathway there, isn't there? Is this the way? Doesn't look... Uh, it does look a bit precarious, to be fair. Uh, uh, well, uh, sorry about the crap camera, camera work, folks. It's just that uh, I don't really want to fall on my ass if I can help it. <laughs> oh. oh dear. <laughs> oh shit, whose fucking idea was this? <laughs> oh no. Right. Uh, yeah, a bit awkward, folks, to say the least. But I think uh, I think we can get down this bit. Just take our time. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Right. Hang on a minute, folks. Oh. Here comes a slidey bit.